And young friends, welcome to my new Let's Play of Resident Evil 2, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> Here with me today is... It's Dom. And Dom, what do you know about Resident Evil 2? Uh, a handful of things. Such as? Uh, there's different zombies... Like, there's liquors, there's, uh, what the hell are they called? What are the big titan ones called? I'm trying to think what their name are. What, the tyrants? Tyrants, that's what it is. And it's, the zombies are different depending on what, what, what one they're infected with, or how they're infected with it, right? Uh. Does it differ if you ingest it, or if you breathe it in as a mm. gas? No, what? No, that's, no, no. You're that's that that's the movie. Oh, okay. That was, that's that's a different virus. Okay. Yeah, that was. I'm sorry. It's I'm, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to understand the RE world. And then I was here for the let's play of seven. You were here for that. That is that all you gotta add. And uh. Okay, so we're here today in the Goldust Let's Play is, right? Uh, this is going to be like my fifth time going through the game. And I love this game. This game is... Mwah. But this Let's Play is going to be a long one. Um, I'm going to be going for 100%. So that means all the files, right? Mm -hmm. All the little Mr. Raccoon bobbleheads, right? Mm -hmm. And we're going to be doing it on a hardcore. I haven't played this on hardcore yet, but... Unlike Resident Evil 2, I'm fairly certain that Hardcore doesn't change the placements of items, like, if we... So, should we do Leon and Claire's campaign first, though? Uh, let's do Leon. Leon S. Kennedy, the S stands for Scott. Uh -huh. After a few days of radio silence from his new post, Leon S. Kennedy drives to Raccoon City to scope things out, unbeknownst to him... A nightmare awakens. Dun dun dun. Awakens. It's awaits. Awaits. I'm. I might be slightly dyslexic. You might be slightly stupid. <laughs> you take that back, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Make me. <sighs> okay. So here we go. We're gonna be playing Leon S. Kennedy's campaign. <sighs> For hardcore fans of the series, saving requires an ink ribbon. No auto save. Stronger enemies. <sighs> All right, you ready? Nope. God knows I'm not. I mean, I, I imagine I'll do. Be prepared fairly, to hear me scream like a bitch. Fairly well. And before we go, I'll just need to take care of something real quick. So we'll BRB.
here we go. Start playing as Leon S. Kennedy. His first day on the job as a rookie cop. What a hell of a first day it's going to be. So we got some bloody footprints here leading into this gas station convenience store. I mean, we're cops, so I guess we got to investigate, huh? Or at least get some donuts. <laughs> or at least they serve alcohol here. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of convenience store. Hello? Anybody there? Hmm. Something's not right. Okay. Flashlight, get. Oh, hello. You all right? Don't move. I'll be back for you. Okay, I guess we'll just go investigate here. That bastard locked us in here. Only way to go is forward. Hello? Stop moving. Officer, you need help? Stay back, sir. I got this. He means it. No, headshots don't work because. Oh my. Oh. You know, I swear my aim isn't that bad. Holy shit, I'm in danger already. <laughs> I thought you were good at this game. My aim isn't usually that bad. But. We gotta get that key. It's right over here. I need him to yeah, stay down for a bit. And we gotta use this key here to unlock this. Dang. That guy's infected. Now there's a zombie there. So <laughs> we're in danger now, so there's no way. Ooh. Hello. Boy, show was that easy. You all right? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later when we're safe. Holy shit! On. I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. The intro for this game is very nostalgic. Is it? Yeah, it is, because I don't think in the original game you get to... Uh, you play at the gas station. 
Leon just finds a like a body in the middle of the road and he goes and expects it and it's uh, and then, you know there's it's a zombie and the gas station is like in the background he runs to it and that's where he meets Claire just like that you know he, but I think he he burst into the door and then he's like and she's like the, you know she's in the gas station already I don't know it's I, it's been a while it's been like it's God been this a hot game minute. this game Resident Evil 2 the original came out 20 years ago Jesus. So, it, it's been a while since I played it, or since I've watched somebody play it. But even even then, it's still super nostalgic, and this game is phenomenal. And it better win Game of the Year, or else I will kill everybody in the audience and then myself. Station's not much farther. You'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Walking from here. More like running. Yeah, good call. Okay. Yeah, I'm all right. How about you? you? Can't stay here. It's not safe. Go on ahead. I'll meet you at the station. Oh boy, here we go. Look at all these fucking zombies. <laughs> this is out of control. This is uh, certainly out of control. We're running through the streets of Raccoon City. In the middle of the T virus outbreak. I remember this part being very. Oh, it had this exact feeling Shit. in the original game. It's everybody. They've all turned. Zombies everywhere. There it is. The station. And, uh. Let's see here. Oh, jeez. Hey, my health came back. That's nice. I just noticed. Well, let's hope those, uh... That gate holds. But I know the in the original game there's an Easter egg where if you go through the whole of the uh, Raccoon City streets at the start, because it was a lot longer in the original game, you go through a gun shop and a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, if you go through the whole thing to the police station without picking anything up, 
you get to meet a zombified Brad Vickers, and Brad Vickers is the pilot for the Stars team. Oh. Yeah, and he, he got zombified because in Resident Evil 3, Resident Evil 3 takes place a few hours before 2, and him and Claire were right outside the PlayStation, Nemesis showed up and killed Brad with his uh, arm tentacles. Hmm. And Brad's really tough to kill. But is he? he? Yeah, he is. Hello? He has a lot more health. Is anybody here? Than a regular zombie. But I think he gets something special if you kill him. But he's not in this game, unfortunately. Other Easter eggs has to be someone here. Remember this from the demo? Yep. Didn't turn off notifications. <laughs> Send reinforcements. East hallway. You gotta find that guy. Now you'll find him, alright. Both of them. <laughs> Be every. Yeah, that was fast, wasn't it? I can't believe you forgot to turn it off. And now we're ink ribbons. Ink ribbons are hold over from the previous, the original games, 1, 2, 3. Yeah, 1, 2, and 3. And 0. Where, uh, you need the ink ribbons to save the game. So with this ink ribbon, I can only save twice. We need to discard this key because we don't need it anymore. So, uh, yeah, we might as well save, because I don't know. Oh, all those times I beat the game. <laughs> we don't have anything in here except for all this stuff that I have, because I bought, like, the big edition of the game. Because mm. this game deserves all of my money. <laughs> Take it all. Let's pick up that first aid spray. And uh, we'll see. We'll just continue on where the demo was. Remember the demo? Leon didn't have his casual clothes on. He had his police uniform on. Remember that? Sort of. Jesus Christ, what the hell was that? I feel like this is the position I don't want to be in. Laying on the floor between two doorways not <laughs> being able to see... this we're just gonna turn lights on here luckily this zombie here has handgun ammo hey. we, we will need that god zombies take a lot of bullets to kill it normal I'm dreading to see how many bullets they take to kill it in, in this are you even going to shoot them? Uh, some of them, I know I'm going to have to kill some of them. There's a, I think there's a first aid spray in here. Those first aid sprays heal you completely. Useful. Very useful. Zombie really dug into him fast. Yeah. That has to be a terrible way to go. And 
Okay. Okay. This is gonna help out later. But I remember from the demo, and from all the times I played this game, there's gonna be a sum of a bitch that walks through. Okay. Oh, nice. He's dead. Sometimes, uh, your handgun will do a critical hit, and it'll instantly kill a zombie. Is that what just happened? Yes, that is what it just happened. They're everywhere. But don't count on that happening a lot. Or at all. I think we can, we might be able to run around these. Jesus, they break down door fast. Oh my. That, that fucking... Oh. More than you expected. Much more. Come this way. Don't go that way. Son of a bitch. You said it. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh, two of them. Three. No. I mean, the first time it happens, you think it's an insta kill. Instant. Now I'm dead. Now I'm dead. <laughs> I'm gonna see you guys right where I left off. <laughs> We're back in the same position. Two bullets less than last time. And, uh. Maybe. I'm, I'm confident we can do it this time. If I didn't walk into something. Okay, we got a first aid kit, right? I, I know how to play. Do you? Oh, here we go. Finesse. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. The hell out of dodge. Another officer, I, I couldn't. I couldn't. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. Does anyone know what started this? Not a clue. But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Yeah, well, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Okay, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Hopefully you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. He thought this secret passageway might be the trick. Hmm. This is good news. We can get you to a hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie. You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. Me. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, Uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out. Or you run. Got it? Yes, sir. <laughs> and now we got the combat knife. Woo! And we're gonna use it 
to open up this thing here, which is like the only reason we ever need to carry a combat knife. Or let me let me rephrase that because that sounded stupid. <laughs> this is the only time we'll need to use the combat knife to progress in any area. I recognize that Resident Evil 7 tape too. This is not how I imagined my first day. I don't think this is how anybody imagined their first day, Leon. Oh, green herbs. More bullets. Always welcome. Always, Dom. Always. No one could make that. Huh? What? Yeah, huh? What indeed? <laughs> you wanna know how I got these scars? Let's see. I think this door is locked. We're gonna need a key for that later. Mark that on our map. Who made this police station? The police station used to be an art station. Art museum. <laughs> art station. Art station. It used to be an art museum, and I got turned into a police station. I wish we had boards so we could board up the window, but, you know, oh well. Especially since we're going to have to come back here later. File, record of events. September 25th. We're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. September 25th. Addendum. One of the refu refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this is simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. September 26th. Mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it to safety, uh, make it safely behind the emergency shutters, but, but surrounded as we are. It'll be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure we can fix any of our comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. September 27th. <laughs> there was another clash on the west side of the station around 1 p.m. Twelve people died, and there is only a handful of survivors left. Everything has fallen into disarray in here. So is the case with the T-Virus. Dom, T and T virus stands for what? Uh. Technical difficulties? Stands for tyrant. How? I don't know. You could at least try to guess right. So here. Mm, we definitely do want to kill this, this zombie here later on and we won't this guy's gonna get up he's a zombie he's gonna get up this door is locked right yep so I don't think we can kill these guys just shit we're gonna go want to go in that room later this guy if we can hurry up and get this board here hurry up get to the window oh thank god Window to the board up that window. So you can't come in. Less uh, zombies in the place, the better, right? Yep. Only good zombies are dead zombies. They're all dead. Deader. <laughs> Deader. Oh. More ink ribbons. Gunpowder. This will be useful. Another file. Medi medicinal medical Jesus medicinal benefits of herbs humans have used herbs to treat sickness and disease since the dawn of time in this book we will explore three such herbs native to uh, our clay mountains green herbs 
have the ability to heal basic injuries, while blue herbs have long been used to treat poisoning. As for red herbs, while they are visually appealing, they offer no medicinal benefits, or so it was thought until recently. It is well known that combining herbs together produces blends that heightens the herb's effects, but it is, has since hmm, but it has been discovered that red herbs can play a big role when mixed properly. According to one doctor of Asian medicine, mixing blue and red herbs together produces a blend that will strengthen one's constitution. Truly, we have only just begun to realize the full potential of these herbs and their ability to heal the human body. Further research is sure to yield even more fascinating results. So what all that nonsense means is that if you mix a blue herb and a red herb, uh, not only does it increase... Your, wait. All right. So blue herbs heal you from poison, right? Yeah. But when you mix it with a red a red herb, not only does it heal you from poison, but it also reduces the amount of damage you take for a certain period of time. Oh. Okay. I don't know how long this video is or time. Like I had to skip around a lot. So I think that's gonna be it for today, guys. Uh, until the next episode, where I'll continue on. And my aim will be better, I promise. And, uh, yeah, a lot of people have been asking me to do this, to start this, so you better watch it. Appreciate Adam. It. Bastard. Hi, Adam. You don't say hi to him. You don't deserve it. Oh. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Porter. And I'm Dom. This is my favorite video in Raccoon City.